General uh, Petraeus is saying that we're now over there to win. And uh, looking at this film, I don't understand how, how we win. What has to take place to win? I mean, who, who's going to surrender to us? You know, Japan gave us the swords. Germany gave us uh, their weapons. Uh, there, you know, there, there's a written agreement in Korea, even though the war uh, officially isn't over. But uh, how do you win the war in uh, Afghanistan, e in uh, Iraq also? How do you win that war? You know, I, I don't, you know, I think, as you said, again, what are the metrics of success, as I said before, and to ask me those metrics, I mean, I'm a Brit. Why would you trust me on the metrics of success? <laughs> but I would say this. I would say this, that in 2001, when NATO invaded, and I know it's from Sebastian, that he was on the streets of Kabul, and with the, rate, the, the, the approval rating of the Afghan population to the American invasion was 90%. People were hugging him on the streets of Kabul. And what happened was, as we all know, was the, the blunder of the last administration was to turn all its focus and attention onto Iraq. And we left 15, 16, 17,000 troops in, Afga in, in Afghanistan, the whole of Afghanistan. I mean, there's 40,000 cops in New York City. If you want to win the trust of somebody, like hearts and minds isn't about bear-hugging people and making them pretending that they're your best friend. I mean, the Afghan people, the Karangandis, are practical people. They know that they're being occupied. But you win them over by giving them the best possible hand the best possible security, making them an offer where they weigh it up with the Taliban and they say, that's the best choice, yeah? And we and did that for a while. We, we they, 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 started, they started to choose us and say, wait, this, this makes more sense. You know, they're trying to give us stuff, and, and but. But if you don't, if we, so it's, I'm, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not saying, I'm not doing either pro or for, or for against the war. What I'm just saying is the facts, is that's how you win a counterinsurgency. Now, obviously, Petraeus thinks that he can do it. And I think that the events over the weekend with Michael Steele saying what he did about Obama have spurned Petraeus into saying that. And we wait to see what happens. And I think it's too early to say at this stage whether he can create a sort of uh, an arena for some kind of stability to come, you know, an opportunity. It may be too late. It may be that we squandered between 2001 and 2006, we squandered that opportunity, you know.